Look at that sexy man right there. Uh, since I use Discord, I use my headset for Discord. So I can't, um, I won't be using the good mic, but I'm not going to be doing most of the talking. I'll be doing a little bit of the talking. All right. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me pull up chat here so I can get it out of the way. So I can watch you guys be a bunch of frigs. Did we get the tunnel? Did we get the tunnel? That'd be so jokes if we did. I find that hilarious if we actually got the tunnel. <clears throat> Let's get rid of this. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Mario 380 Warpless is having a resistance. Right on. Yeah. You're excited for this one? I'm excited for this one too. I mean, I've I've played Zelda 1 and I've done some speed runs and stuff like that, but not of Zelda 1, right? So, I mean, I've played it and, you know, I've done speed runs of other games, but you're the 69th person here. Right on, man. That's the best number. Now, I think this is actually the the best place for me to be, if I'm not mistaken. Well, actually, no, I don't think life counter really matters, does it? If I could, like, probably small, make myself small up in this corner, I think so. Nobody really cares. Ooh, does he have a heart container? I don't, I don't, I don't think that's, that's a big deal. So let's go ahead and uh, see what this frig's up to. I just got I just got new intel that hearts matter. Hearts matter. See, this is why. This is why you got swats to go for level three. Hearts matter. That's the game. <laughs> yeah, I'll 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 have the call and then I'll do the audio adjustments. Don't worry, guys. What's going on? Hey. How's it going? I'm doing great. How are you? Right on. I'm, do I'm doing pretty good. We, uh, I think we all successfully got through uh, the Mario day as chaotic as it was yesterday. Um, did you have a good day? I did, yeah. That was the longest stream I'd ever done by four hours. Oh, crap. Well, how long, how long was the total? <laughs> 17 hours. Holy uh, jumping. Stream. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a long day. But uh, we had a lot of fun and... Um, played a lot of good games. That's insane. Well, a lot of Mario games, right? You can't. Some Mario games are pretty bad, but for the majority of them, they're they're good games, right? Yeah, we yeah. So. I played a uh, Mario three hundred percent, and I'd never done that before. Oh, so Mario three hundred percent. Did you have fun with the auto scrollers? That's probably why it was seventeen hours. Of course, yeah. I mean, most <laughs> of my time was in that game. But yeah, it was. It was just fun to go back and, or when I got in, I was like, oh yeah, I remember playing this game as a kid, but I haven't played it in forever because it's right usually don't. So I'm glad that that yesterday brought that that joy. You know what I mean? Most people think because we speed on games, like we don't get certain joys out of certain games. Like I, like I can't really play Mario Three normal anymore, which for the most part is true. But then there's all these little fun things that you can do to make it more fun, right? All these little mini categories to try and have fun with stuff. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. So we're here to go through Zelda 1. Now, if I recall, I asked you the the other week, and you're like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Hopefully I get the world record again before we do it. And guess what? You did. Guess what? It happened. You yeah. Did. did you at all remember that we had discussed that, or were you just, like, super hyped that you beat the record again? Well, <clears throat> as you'll see, I was a little disappointed at the end, but we, we could talk about that when we get there. I had actually <laughs> forgotten that I, I said I wanted to improve the record um i think that's happened before with another like interview slash video presentation or something that i've I've beaten the record in that period of time so i guess i need to do these more often right right come on guys anyone else there please ask him if he wants to sit down and have a talk because that's the drive okay so i've got the video at zero zero um are you are you ready to start um i don't know if you have like do you know how long it is before you re restart the run is it like a minute or no, um, it's like 20 seconds. But okay, that's that's fine. We, we can, just, can start. Yeah, we can watch me. So I always include the previous run in a world record or PB video. Be, like, I always include how it ends because 
I want people to see like, yeah, I still make mistakes. Like that happens. Yeah. In, you know, it just kind of shows how like the previous run ended. So I always find that interesting. That but. is interesting. Because people are like, he's cheater, spliced video, you know what I mean? You never know what you're going to find in comment sections, right? But then when you have something like this, it's like, well, see, I failed before I succeeded. So yeah, can't I can't really... believe that this video actually has zero uh, thumbs down on YouTube, which it has to be a record for me. <laughs> Usually everyone I get has uh, at least like a dozen. So Yeah, a couple thumbs down here and there. Okay, so we're going to start the video. I'm going to do three, two, one, and then go. And then okay. we can start. And then um, now I made sure that I didn't watch this because I want to keep like the, the realisticness of watching it and being like surprised and interest and stuff like that. So it, it keeps things good. So I will stop you every once in a while to make sure I ask certain questions as a, as a plebeian viewer. All right. Sure. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Right on. So you have your playback video in the top left. Do you view it much, or is that for uh, your viewers so they have a better reference? I always check that because, um, it, I mean, it shows how I'm compared to my PB. So I always keep that. Like, I usually look at the uh, like a live split, but I always look at that video. So yeah. Do you ever look I'm at it? On it? Do you ever look at it and it's like, okay, well, I need to do like a crazy strat here to boost ahead a little bit because you're behind? Yeah, I'll definitely take more risks later in the run if I'm behind. Yeah, me so. too. I've done that before. Yeah. All right, so you start with getting the sword. Go, go. We, we do. You have the floor. Most, pretty much every run starts with getting the sword. And then um, the category we're doing now uses the screen, sc screen scrolling technique, uh, which you'll see. It's about 20 times during the run. Oh but it's gosh. a one frame input um and you have to be on a very specific pixel oh my gosh really? trick. yeah so one frame d-pad input um but the main or the the main part of this game like one of the main focuses of speed running this game is keep is uh your consecutive counter and it's so, like every time you kill an enemy the number goes up by one and then you can get a specific drop at 10. so you'll see me doing that a lot in the run um, like that bomb I got there was not a forced bomb. So that's what I'll call forced. Uh, there's a random bomb. That was a random bomb. So like, so you got uh, lucky I, essentially. I got lucky. Yeah. Nice. And that's a, where a lot of runs end. So you can see <laughs> I've like built my count up. I've killed four enemies. So I'm going to bomb these guys here. I got more lucky bombs. So now I'm at nine. Mm -hmm. And, um, if I were to bomb there and kill one enemy, I would guarantee you get a bomb. And that's like how the forcing of drops work. How come you didn't get a bomb when you killed that bat, though? So bats or keys do not drop items, but they will still count in your um, global counter. So you're back to, like, counter. three or something. No, so once you hit 10, it stops until you either get hit or get a drop. So what I'm going to do coming up is I'm going to try to bomb this dark nut here in this first level, mm -hmm. or this, this next room here, and he's actually going to walk away, so I just bail, and I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, Abort! So I'm going to abort, yeah. So if you don't bomb the 10th with a bomb and you bomb or you like kill him with the sword, the next drop will be a five rupee, which you see I just got right there. So like you're trying to keep your bomb count high, but you also want to get uh, 30 rupees before a certain point in the game about eight minutes in. Oh, nice kill. So it was good that you got the five rupee, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you want to get money and bombs and you have to kind of, um, you know, trade off when you're going to get either one. Yeah. So that's really that, cool. So, yeah. So that boss right there, Minhanla, is completely random in his movement. And um, luckily, like if he, um, if you hit him with the bomb explosion for 10 frames, he'll drop a bomb, like the forced bomb. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, so that was pretty optimal of getting that. So. Um, there Look I am that. showing off my uh, bling from the uh, <laughs> tournament in 2015. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Somebody asked me about it, so <laughs> I showed it. So now here I'm like, uh, see, I killed those uh, keys there. Mm -hmm. um, that gets my count up. There were two of them in there. So then in the next room I killed five. So that means I'm at seven. Yep. So I'm gonna try to get a five rupee here. Did you get a kill there? Was that eight? Uh, that was not a kill. So it's, it's kind of confusing, like splitting them is um it, it does not count but um so yeah i actually miscounted there i don't know what i was thinking uh, maybe i wasn't paying attention when i was running this but now i is, really wanted a five rupee there 
is it rare for you to actually miscount? Like, are you pretty? Are you on your game a lot when it comes to the counting? Like, is it kind of uh, easy for you at this point? I think it's easy. I still make mistakes. Maybe of like, course. you know, one out of a hundred runs or something, I'll make a mistake counting. I don't know. I, it's less and less. So. But you can have like bad days where you know your 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 mind's just not there like it is certain days, right? Where it just slips your mind, make a little yeah, mistake. Yeah, yeah. Or or some like we've had a couple instances where something new has happened, and like they're like the counts were not as we expected, and so we've had there was actually an instance a year ago where I thought I should have gotten a certain drop and I got the other one, and it just got discovered like why it happened that way last Weird. week. That's cool, so, like, man. New yeah. stuff. That's really yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. There is actually a new glitch discovered recently. That nothing has been discovered in this game for years, actually. But <laughs> um, a new, a brand new glitch was discovered with using the raft and the recorder. Um, it's not in this speed run, but it's in most of the other. Ca it can be in this one, but it's in most of the other ones. So. Right on. Right on. Yeah. So, so this is like we're we're coming up on like kind of the 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 last like early reset point. Nice. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I right now I have 22 rupees and 6 bombs. That's pretty decent counts. This boss takes 16 hits with the wooden sword. Um and so it's and he like the fireballs do one damage, one heart of damage, mm -hmm. and then like running into the head, the attached head does so does three eighths heart of damage, which is kind of odd, but that's just how it's programmed. So yeah. Now I've always uh, had a question: Is it faster if you were to not get hit because when you grab the Triforce, your health fills up, or is the end sequence always the same time and it compensates for filling hearts? No, uh, heart refills count against your time. So um, you usually do not want to take damage boosts um, in this in this category unless you're in uh, level nine because there's no refill at the end. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Good thinking. I didn't even think yeah. about that. You because you just beat the game at level nine, right? You just grab it and then that's it, and everyone's you, happy. Yeah, you get Zelda and then the game's over. Yeah. So, but yeah. So we're doing some more screen scrolling, and I'm building my count up, killing enemies there, trying to get random uh, drops uh, or uh, force drops. Um, so you actually do I... level one after? Yes, you do level one. You do three four one just because that's the fastest walking distance right on okay um there's also a bomb or a bomb wall in this uh right here in this next room that you have to go through and if you don't have bombs it costs you like about 25 seconds okay okay and you're still there's counting those... this whole time right you're like trying to keep your mind occupied like you're just Absolutely. counting yeah that's that's insane that's so yeah. cool little things that tip me off to like where my count is like Certain enemies can't drop fairies, but I actually got a fairy from um, one of those enemies that can't drop fairies. So that means it was a forced fairy. Crazy. Uh, so that like gives me a clue. Um, what is that? Um, what's that? <laughs> the the fairy counter? No, 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 no. Uh, I just saw you go through the block. You can finish what you were saying, but oh, definitely, oh. definitely shine light on that. You just <laughs> sword. I just you... yeah, glossed over it, right? <laughs> um, the, so that's a block clip, and that's kind of the same. Uh, technique is a screen scroll it just takes advantage of zelda one's grid system because you can only move on like half tiles and whole tiles crazy um, you can't like walk diagonal like link to the past or kind of on any y or x axis you have to walk on these specific mm -hmm. points um so that you can um it actually saves a ton of time later um because you skip um a room with many enemies that one didn't have any enemies so um you could just walk um uh, walk around and push the block if you wanted to yeah so, but there's, there's multiple places in the run where you can use that to your advantage right absolutely yeah so, yeah that's, right that's so... about five or six maybe that that count could be completely wrong i don't know anything about this game <laughs> <laughs> right on so so you've only successfully done the first three yes yeah, so i've done three four and one so one three, three yeah. try forces yeah right on and um, and so your... this is oh good. Go I was just gonna say your main objective is, of course, to get all the all the triforces, right? There's no like beat four temples, then like do a glitch to the end, right? That is correct. Okay. So like in level nine, there's a room, there's an old man that will not let will not open the doors unless you have all the triforce pieces. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm actually happy that there isn't a glitch that breaks it because I feel like it wouldn't be fun, as fun, you know, to like skip all the game. Like the great part about this game and the speed run is that you still have to play all of it yeah like there's no you know there's no like skipping entire dungeons or skipping 
like items due to another glitch. Um, I, I, sadly, really, yeah. sadly, I have to say not yet. <laughs> so hopefully yeah, yeah, it stays that way, right? Yeah, I know. Like my games, I feel like I, I like to have it where I play or I play the entire game because it's fun to play the whole game. It's yeah. also, I mean, sometimes it's fun to skip everything, but this would be my main like focus if I ever did something. And else, this is so. your favorite category out of all of them, right? Yeah, I mean, that's the one I've played the most. Um, there are other ones that are really interesting, like low percent, where you don't get any hard upgrades or um, or any sword upgrade. So, like, you're stuck with three hearts and the wooden sword to the end of the game. And it's really hard, but it's it's fun to have that challenge. Now, was that the actual entrance to the dungeon? So, yeah, there are two entrances on that screen. One is through that staircase, and one is through the main door. Um, going through that staircase actually takes away the animation of Link coming up the stairs after you beat the dungeon. Um, when you beat the dungeon, after you go through that like stair under the statue, um, you don't have that animation. So it saves like a second. There's Crazy. another block. Yeah, right and you did it first try yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. It uh, looked very I call important. That area, I call that area Fort Gibdo because <laughs> that's the name of the enemy, and it it has ruined so many runs. Uh, and this this room is um, the, where the room the recorder room I call it. Um, so these these blue knights have four HP or eight HP. So you have to hit them twice with bombs. Jeez. And like their their shields uh, deflect bombs. So if like the way you place a bomb, like the way Link is facing, matters. So yeah. like if you face the bomb or place a bomb facing left, and the dark knight is walking right when it explodes, he won't get hit. Oh my like, gosh. Yeah. You know, so you have to like kind of time it to where he's walking like at an angle or away from it and then it'll hit him so not only um, do you have to have a certain amount of bombs but you have to rely on rng because i assume once you enter the room they're not always going to be in the exact same place right so they are actually in the exact same place at the start but they move differently oh, okay um, so their movements they, are still yeah, that's the, still annoying the movements are random but the order or the place that they spawn is always the same depending on your route through the game Mm -hmm. so like every yeah so it, there's a lot of technicalities with that but that's pretty much it it makes sense you set yourself up to know where they're going to be but the anticipation of how they're going to be after a second two second three second placing bombs your direction that's that's what defines a good player between a bad player right being able to figure out and deal with it accordingly yeah i mean a lot of this game is read and react there's you know a lot of uh other games are like okay it's going to be this same way every single time uh it's not the case in this game like you have to react to every single room like you are constantly reading enemy patterns and movements and like you know there are times when you can be risky and try to fit through a small opening we may have a couple frame window to get there but a lot of times you have to just kind of duck and go out of the way. So that gives a lot of replay value, and that also means that like it's very hard to get the record exactly where you want it to be all the time, right? Like because you never know. There's little time saves everywhere. It seems. Oh yeah, there are micro time saves like in every single every board. Like some of best in this game, I have thirty some splits, so that doesn't really count. But like my some of best in the game is about like a low twenty eight. So I'm reaching that point, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but there are more strategies that we could use. Like, you have to use bombs to go through walls um, in some spots. And like, if you don't have a bomb, you're basically screwed. Yeah. But if um, if you want bombs to do more damage than your sword, and you could risk it and try to get random drops or force drops, but you're basically, you know, you're potentially throwing away the run just by trying to save like half a second here, or, two, or you know, two seconds in one room. Definitely. I, I think I just saw you do the time and reacting. The guy shot an arrow, and rather than just trying to avoid it, you deflected it with your shield. And it seemed like, yeah. you know, you're not prepared for that. That arrow's not there every time you play, right? Right. So you have to kind of read the, how the enemy shoots at you. Very cool. Now, I wanted to ask one quick thing before we move on. Are you are you not taking damage when, when Link uh, sword slices there? Uh, if you, yeah, so if you, the enemy, like, if you hit them and they're not dead, they have iframes, and you can walk through them. Okay, cool. I thought it so was that, the animation of the slicing, but it's not. It's the iframes. But they don't yeah. have visual iframes. Like, they're not flashing, right? They Well, they do. They flash. They'll, they'll um, like, if Link gets hit, he turns, like, a rainbow of colors. Like, that's <laughs> what an enemy will do. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, I don't know. I mean, so like there you saw that guy flash, like, red. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That Yeah, that means that I could have walked through him there. I was actually trying for a random bomb. Um, some some of these enemies drop bombs. Not every enemy drops bombs. 
for um, four uh, four types of enemy, and so only one of them drops a bomb. Insane. Yeah. Insane. So, so we've you... gotten pretty much past the hard part of the run, in my opinion, which is up through five. And now it's like basically easy levels, but there's so much RNG that your times can vary wildly. So are um, you are you nervous right now? Like, is this the point where you're like, okay, I'm ahead. I'm past the the massive reset rate. Um, yeah. I'm doing really well. I'm I'm doing better than I've ever done before, obviously, with the minus times. Do you have it set in your mind like, okay, all I need to do is make sure that this, 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 and this works? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot of stuff. Like, for example, <laughs> this room, I'm out of bombs. Any one of those guys can drop a bomb and I got zero. And, like, that's completely unlucky. It's, it's very unlucky to get that. It's a calculated risk because I ran out of bombs in the previous level, mm -hmm. but it slows you down. Like in this room, I have to use the candle, um, and like bombs would have been dead and out already. Um, and you can see, like he just goes away from me, and like that, like little thing, like cost me a second. You know? Just yeah. It there. even looked like a little bit more than a second, but like compared to the bomb, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. And then this room here, especially like, you know, if you don't get certain drops, like you can't go fa as fast and that's just how it is and you just nice have kill to, yeah you just kind of have to go with it um, so but as you were saying like i am like at this point i'm like okay this is definitely a pb pb a bull run mm -hmm. because in uh i know in my splits i have about 14 15 seconds to save in level seven um which is next which so. is starting right now so you're like okay all right settle down yeah. lack all right yeah. look at look at yeah i can see you you're yeah. getting ready <laughs> Yeah, um, basically I know like what is a good split time. I don't really pay attention to the plus minus because it can vary so much. Yeah. But, like under 15 minutes after level two, that's a good split time in my opinion. So um, I'm like, okay, I can do something with this. Yeah, well, I mean, you're not going to reset, hopefully. <laughs> you're not that no, reset I, happy, are you? No, I rarely reset after getting past level five. Um, right if on. I'm like plus 20 or something, I might, but. Yeah. Yeah. What happened yeah, there? So so right there is actually new tech uh, called the tricorder. Okay. Um, and what that does uh, is you have to blow the whistle two times after level seven to warp to the correct dungeon. Okay. Um, but right there, you blow it once because you have to wait for that statue to wake up. Oh, okay. So it's like preemptive. So, yeah. So the timer actually goes down while you blow the whistle. So it saves that time. So um, cool. And yeah. So it's just a very minor time save, but it's like, it's like two seconds. So, I mean, that's a pretty big deal. I'd say especially, so. Especially at this point, and it's two free seconds at that. It's not like you have to do something. Um, and there's no punishment difficult. either. There's no like, oh, I pressed it too fast. Like, you know, it doesn't work or anything, right? It's free. Yeah. It, it's basically free. Like the way you're facing uh, matters. So like you have to be facing left or down for that to work. Um, so if you're facing up, you actually just lost eight seconds. So you have to make sure you're facing the correct way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, what costs you the two seconds there? Five point two to eight point three, or, the, or yeah, um, two point nine. Well, in my pre in my previous PB, I did not have that whistle blow, and that takes about three seconds. Oh, okay, but it's so gonna save time later. Since, yeah, that tech was since the last PB. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not actually yeah. a time loss, right? Right, it's okay. not. That's why I'm like not paying attention to plus minus. Cool. Even though here I can gain ten seconds in this one split. Um, I just tried to like I had a really bad one in my PB. Even can you right tell there, us? Block... Can you tell us where the time loss was the most? Was it in that preview? Ooh, okay, there it is. Oh yeah. So yeah, it had so to the, be in those rooms. The time loss was in that one room with where I fought the uh, blue gorillas. They're called. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have arrows and like had I got hit by the bubble. The bubble takes away your sword. So like that, it takes it away for four seconds. Okay. So I think I got hit there in the previous PB and like just played it really bad and uh i don't even know why i continued that last run <laughs> <If I laughs> but hey man seconds there but it, it turned out to be exactly turned it turned out to, out to be, be the run yeah that's insane so you didn't have to do the clip there with that with that circle room with the blocks i thought you were going to clip there but you were trying to get through the hole in the wall right right yeah that has the red candle and you don't need the red candle for this uh for this speed run you only need the candle once actually and i just <laughs> buy one which is faster yeah this is a very heavy or rng heavy room those bubbles if they hit you they take away your sword yeah and, like luckily they walk the other way you know or went the other way it's just um that's just very fortunate like so much has to come together for your run to happen you can still get good times but for the for the run like a lot has to happen 
but it's not a lot to the point where it's like there's no use in speed running this too much has to go on right like i don't I, think so for the I, average I think player a lot of time. yeah okay that's cool i was gonna say cause, like the average player shouldn't have to worry about all of these components of rng you know just getting into speed running this game and learning it right yeah, there's a, I mean, we have a really helpful community and a lot of tutorials and um, and walkthroughs. So there's a lot of resources for you if you're just picking this game up. That's awesome. Okay, so that was seven. So so what do we have done so far? We have three, four, one, five, two, and seven. So now you have six, eight, and nine. That's correct. I call it the finish. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's about, it's, it's around 10 minutes in length. My PB had a 946 finish mm -hmm. which is like really really good um that i would take that in any speed run like i would my goal is to be much further ahead than 0.7 here i would rather have an 1830 um uh, that's kind of my goal time 1830 um and then i can do different things in the back half nice. one thing one thing to note here is i lost health um already and that's bad because when you have full health you get the beam sword mm -hmm. and so the beam sword does as much as the regular sword and so like it's it's very important to keep full health especially here because there's so much damage output that you have to do so i'm hoping to get a heart in here with these guys and of course i we get didn't, nothing we so didn't get just, it yeah <laughs> so how does it how does it feel right now also to be oh you got a heart there though how does I it did, feel yes. to be looking at your previous video and you're like all right i'm ahead now keep it together like sometimes the playback video can be a little bit more stressful but it's also a good, like, I don't know. I've used it in the past, and I think it's good and bad. It's like a combo. Yeah. It depends on the person, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm really used to being under pressure in this game. Like, I was pretty much the one who drove it down to, like, the current time. Mm -hmm. Like, there were, oh, like much I kind of, like, paved the path of, you know, low times in this game, um, especially in the last couple years. Yeah. So, like, the pressure is on me to, like, beat myself, like, my own best time. And Which so, oftentimes can be the hardest. Sometimes, you, yeah. I find when you're trying recently. to compete with yourself, you put way too much pressure on yourself. I don't mean you. I just mean in general. Uh, I find that people can put more pressure on themselves. I and I will sometimes. Like it, I think it just depends on how I've been playing recently. Mm -hmm. Like if I uh, if I haven't had a PB in a long time, like actually before the last one, I hadn't PB'd in like two or something like. 2000 runs which was like the biggest drought that i've ever had in my life or something it, oh it was gosh. big yeah it was a lot so i i feel um, you i just recently had the same thing right it's like it takes a lot because yeah. you start questioning you know did i hit my peak you know is this the best i could have ever done right because it just like when you get the good rng you screw up and when you screw up you get the good rng and they're just know, they're just yeah, not yeah. getting together it's... Yeah, and, that, and that's really what it is, is looking for, like, the perfect run of luck and execution. That's all speedrunning is. Yep. Uh, is this Look at those smiles. To that level. I'm actually, like, I'm, I'm pretty happy at this point. <laughs> like, you know, I was even, or gained time on my previous six, which was really good. Um, yeah, so, like, I, the last two levels are probably the most challenging as far as um, uh, just keep continuing to go fast. So getting that clock there, I knew that three kills from then was going to be a bomb. So nice. that's why I killed all of them, and I needed two more bombs. So that's why I did that in that specific order. Quick thinking, right? Yeah, I mean, that's something that you have to come up with like immediately or you're going to end up losing time. So. I, I, had a, I had a question. Um, is it not possible to get the, the, the better sword earlier in the run to deal more damage to eliminate the bombs? Like more so, of having to use the bombs? Yeah, you have to have 12 hearts to get the magical sword. Dang. And so that's why I spend all that time picking them up. Yeah. Um, the task does not get the magical sword. They, it gets four hearts. You should watch the task of this game at some point. Like, okay. it is, it's, it's 22 minutes and 16 seconds. Jeez. Well, now that I understand this game, when I'm watching, I can understand more about what the task is doing and why it's, yeah. it's more. I had no idea you needed X amount of hearts to get. Whoa, that time save right on. Yeah, that room was extremely good, and like this room was not that great. All the guys <laughs> went to the bottom right, but I'm, I'm like playing out of my mind at this point. Mm -hmm. um, you can see like six seconds ahead. I mean, that at this point in the run, this is really good. I, right there, I actually gambled, or um, I did like a two-frame window movement um, to get past those guys without taking any damage. Otherwise, 
I'd have had to stop for about half a second. Mm -hmm. So there's a there's a piece of it, there's a small risk that or a big risk, honestly, like just to save half second. And you have more so, health here getting the Triforce, so you you gained a little bit more time. What do you I know did. the time difference? Is it like point two per heart or something? It's uh forty two frames, I believe, per heart. Or oh. forty frames. Oh, it's crap. it's in that in the neighborhood, so that's actually, actually quite a bit. It is. It's uh it's it's almost like the frame rule in Mario One. I think it is twenty one frames per half heart. So they, I got a lucky bomb there too, which is gonna speed up the run later. So like those little bits of luck can really help out. So you're just like, oh my gosh, of course this run. Are you are you are you upset that your early game wasn't as good as you wanted it to be? Well, I honestly didn't even realize that it was it had like a lot of slop uh, until I rewatched it just a few minutes ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's something like you kind of have to just take the bad starts to get to the end game because there's always so much time to save in the oh end game gosh. and you see i'm like so now i'm seven seconds ahead i want 28 28 like that's been the goal for me for a long time mm -hmm. and it actually was a goal i made in jest um i was like people kept asking me like how like what's your end goal time and i i didn't even think i could get that low and now here we are we're one second away nice first of try like, too uh, of getting it um, is it hard to get those blocks clips first try no, it's actually not. Like you okay. just get on that spot. Um, you have, I mean, you have to do some very precise, precise movements, but it's not like, um, it's not very, it's not extremely difficult. But it's, it's hard to do under pressure sometimes. Yeah, I mean, the average player wouldn't be able to just watch you and be like, oh, I can do that. They, like they'll try it. You know, you need to understand it to still be able to do it. Yeah, here's a bit of RNG: is which way this guy goes, because if he if he hits you or <laughs> if he goes left or you make a mistake. Then you get hit going through that door, and then you don't have beams anymore. Mm -hmm. So you'll see like how fast this room will go down with beams as opposed to no beams. So you can see I basically get double swords here. And then that was the 10th kill, so I've been keeping track of that number in my head this whole time. Oh my gosh, the 9.4. Yeah. Oh, just wait. It gets lower. <laughs> Insane. So I also have added this uh, PB chance. Uh, thing to my splits okay which has turned out to be really fun it may not be completely accurate but usually when i'm playing this game it's four it's like zero and now it's like 40 percent. so there you go there's 13 seconds ahead like now i'm like okay now i'm i'm quit. just saying don't die yeah <laughs> quit messing around you're just telling yourself all right don't do what bad things do okay just yeah. get it done like if i was able this room especially like all these guys do two hearts of damage and it's um it just can be really bad especially if those bubbles get in the way but this is like the main like the last major hurdle is getting this item and so 13 seconds out here i'm like oh my gosh just if i finish this at this pace like i don't have to play this game anymore like i don't know how it could go down any low it could but you know it's like the the number of things that have to come together oh um, my god that was fast man yeah, I'm actually going to take an intentional two heart damage here, even though I only have seven. But it saves probably four seconds just get walking through this guy. Yeah, but you're not wasting any time. Hearts. No, I'm not. I'm, these guys can eat you, and it'll eat like one or two seconds. So everything's coming together here. I'm really just trying not to trying not to blow it all on it. Uh, so you're incredibly yeah. nervous, pretty much, is what you're saying. Um, my heart rate was about I don't know, like one ten. That's not the highest it's ever been, but I mean it's high. That oh, that's, that's pretty high. Uh, missed that block. That was it. That um, cost three seconds. No, well there were well, things two. in the other rooms. Okay, um, okay, okay. It cost time. Yeah, because yeah, you went from the arrow to the trap room. That's right. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up this heart because I have to switch to arrows anyway. So I picked that heart up with the arrow. It's kind of cool. That it was Costs, pretty cool. Cost zero time and gets me an extra heart. Why not, right? You gotta wait for the bomb anyways. I did. So in my PB, I did crazy strats on this last Patra, the spinny guy, um, where I went in the middle and just tanked the damage and like basically did twice as much damage as you would normally do because you're inside the Patra. And then here, like, just some slop. Like, look, I missed, I got hit. Like, all that stuff just added up. And then here we are at the final boss. Um, there is a stun lock you can do. Uh, if he goes, like, I do the same pattern walking through the room every time. But mm -hmm. it's a 50% chance whether he'll hit the right side or the left side each time. And each time he hit the he hit the right side. So I just 
I lost like five seconds right there at the end. Dang. So you have yeah. you have early game and then you have extremely late game for your time saves. Mm-hmm. You got it though. You got that. Now that's gonna be a really hard dungeon to uh, compare up against, right? Because you well, might I... see a lot of red. Yeah. Yeah, I just know, like, what I have to do at the end, you know, is, um, it's about, like, my fastest time from the Silver Arrows to the end is, like, 152, so I know that, like, all right, if I get in at this time, then I'm gonna, I just have to play well through the end, and it'll be good, so. That's insane, extremely nerve-wracking, too. I, I think, I think you played extremely well, due to the fact that, uh, um, you're, for, you're as far ahead as you've ever been in your life, right, obviously because oh yeah that pace was that pace was sick like i'd never seen that kind of pace before um i think my fastest silver arrow time might have been like 26 30 so four seconds ahead of my fastest pace ever is, is really is, is pretty good late in the game so. are you are you proud of yourself for the ability of like like you, there's no training for that you've never had training for that before in your before ever right so that was, that was the first time you ever had to play under those circumstances like the stress can be the same, sure, when you got world record, like, you know, two or three years ago. That's the same style of stress. But this is, like, the best you, you've you ever even played, right? So yeah, are you that, proud of yourself for the fact that you were able to play that well? I am. Like, I mean, I've been able to have the runs on this kind of pace multiple times in a stream. And, like, pay, you know, that's just crazy right there, being able to – you know, manage the RNG that's in the game and then play at a high, like you have to play at a very high level to even have a chance of getting these times mm -hmm. and like being able to do that for 28 minutes and change is um, something to be proud of. Well, that's so insane. Yeah. I've And like a lot of my ability comes from, you know, just a lot of play, but there are so many other people in the community, you know, like Darkwing Duck. Of course. And uh, like, you know, who's, who's held world records in this game before and still holds some records um but like without the community and without those guys in particular like this stuff wouldn't be possible mm -hmm. um so i just want to say thanks to them but right on yeah, I'm, the shot yeah, i'm really man. yeah really happy with with how i played in that run outside of like two minutes of it so. that was insane and not, not to mention like there's so much going on in your head like I, I i also play a game where you do have to pay attention to a lot of stuff but this is like you're literally doing um a lot more math than your average game while trying to play very well it, it's insane yeah, it's, it, it sure is. <laughs> it, that, 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 that's insane. But aside from that, man, congratulations. That's insane. Um, I definitely want to move along and, and, you know, ask you a couple questions about speedrunning, if you don't mind. Sure. Well, one in particular, like, when did you when did you get started into speedrunning? Well, like, what were your influences? Like, why, why speedrunning? Where did it even come from? What happened? So I was searching Legend of Zelda randomly on YouTube one day, and... I came across the AGDQ 2013 Ocarina of Time run, cool. Um, which is a lot of people's entry into speedrunning. That was a very, very widely viewed run. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, "This is so cool!" Like, it's the, I read the, uh, you know, the caption was like, "Ocarina of Time beaten in 22 minutes." And I said, "There's no way. <laughs> like, that is impossible." Like, I'd never seen like huge glitches or, um, or anything, or even people playing people in a group playing old games like i never had seen that the only thing you know is that game time. took you like 30 to 40 hours yeah oh, easy yeah <laughs> it was just very long so i so i looked at more videos and i just kept um like digging into uh, more speed running and i watched most of the videos from that event and i was just blown away at like the knowledge that these people had and like the ability to pull off these glitches and and just how it like amounted to beating the game and it just it really just blew me away and um, oh yeah in that same kind of youtube dive i um i found a race of the legend of zelda um which was by j prophet and um breakdown so names that some people may have heard of but this was even before agdq 2013 i think this was in 2012 and Insane. i was watching them and i said I was pretty good at that game when I was growing up. I could probably do this. So I decided to sit down and just try it for myself. Um, and yeah, here we are five years later, still going. So, I mean, with that being said, 
what kind of advice do you have for other people in because you have to you have to admit there's a lot of people that are in the exact same shoe as that right i mean they did they just they watched it and it's that deciding factor of whether or not they want to give it a try would you encourage people to just even try it even if you're not good Oh yeah, I mean, I think we all start out as not good, course, <laughs> especially at speed running, because there's more, there's more to speed running than meets the eye. It's not just about playing fast, but it's a very deep knowledge of the game, mm -hmm. um, whatever game you play. Um, when I started out, my first Zelda one time was an hour and two minutes, and like some people beat that now on their first try. Right, um, and it's a lot because of the knowledge. The the tech is just there for people, right? Yeah. I think we have more resources. I mean, there are definitely more resources now than there were. It is easier to get into speedrunning today than it ever has been. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah. Think you find a game you like, find a game you like to play, and just, you know, put up a timer. You don't need a fancy stream layout. You don't need hundreds of viewers. You can just sit down and play a game and stream it and feel part of a community. Because mm -hmm. if you play and keep playing, and insert yourself, like, kind of insert yourself into a conversation, like on Discord or just asking questions. People will come and help you out. People want to see you succeed, and that's that's kind of what's special about speedrunning. We want to see the game grow too, right? Yeah, it's not just about like one person. Like nope. the the fact that multiple people can get times of this caliber is not a testament to like one person. It's a testament to everybody in the community. Exactly. Exactly. Very, very well put. Um, do you have any advice for people who, who do take those steps, but for some reason they're just not achieving what they sought out for? Like, was there ever a breaking point in your speedrunning life where you said, you know what, like, I don't even know if I'm good at this right now. Like, do I keep doing this? Like, how much time am I willing to spend before I see uh, some kind of results? Have you ever been in any of those droughts before? And if you have, like, what kind of advice would you have for people? Yeah, I mean, I've seen those droughts, like, in Zelda 1, it was different because I felt like I was just naturally good at that game mm -hmm. and put it in the work, and, like, I just kept improving. But there are some games, like, like recently I've been playing Final Fantasy VI. Mm -hmm. it's, very, it's a long game, and, like, I feel like I put in a lot of work, and I feel like I should be seeing the results I want, but I keep, like, dying on the final boss, and it's, like, oh, all this time that I've wasted. And it is discouraging, but you have to just kind of... I don't know. You have to really set... I think you have to set realistic goals. Mm -hmm. um, if your goal, like when you, you're like, I'm going to start speed running. Like I don't even have a capture card. I want to get world record in super Mario three. You need to realize like, that's going to be a long and lonely road when you are, <laughs> you know, you are stuck kind of like in the mid 50 ones. And you're like, I don't know if I'm going to get there or not. Like, and you know, I mean, even before then you're probably like, I don't think I'm good enough, but you really just kind of have to make manageable, realistic goals. And if your skill improves, make a new goal. Yeah. That's kind of what I've done. Like last year, I made a list of 14 goals and I've achieved all but one of them. I, they were kind of, they were realistic at the time. I thought some of them turned out to be a lot harder. And I was like, honestly, I was ready to give up, especially on lost levels. Bam. Cause I'd done, I'd done 5,000 attempts and was like, I'm not made for Mario One speedrunning, like <laughs> Darbian and Cosmic and Andrew and all, right. and, and the, all the other guys. And like, there's no like, I, I'm not made for this. Like, I can't. I'm not. <laughs> there's I, just I something just, about the game that doesn't yeah. like your mind is just like not. It just doesn't work, kind of. Yeah. Oh man, I was just like I was. I was a zombie for a lot of it, just kind of going through the motions. But <laughs> I would say that you know, setting realistic goals and achieving those goals and then building on them is a good way to not get burned out in speedrunning. Right on. I have I have the most important question that I have to ask you now though. So Ooh. be prepared. What is your favorite pizza topping? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yes. Hear that ladies and gentlemen, mushrooms. <laughs> so do you get do, when you order pizza are you like plain pepperoni and cheese with mushrooms? That's your that's your diehard I, I usually get mushrooms. I'll get like mushrooms, green pepper, pepperoni, banana pepper, some combination of those. Ooh, banana peppers add a little spice in there, you know? Yeah, I, I'm, I definitely am in. I, I definitely like the banana peppers. I do not like pineapple. No, no. no. I'm, well, I'm allergic, so I can't have it. Yes, you I'm, got a free entry. You're like, yeah. nope, no pineapples. Yeah, <laughs> that shit'll kill it anyway, me. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Is it, is it your take on the fact that it's like fruit on pizza, or you just. 
Like you've tried a pineapple before, right? It's like I, I ha yeah, I used to eat pineapple all the time, but like I don't like warm pineapple. Yeah, like, I think good cold call. pineapple is like is good. It's like refreshing and, too. Yeah, I don't like warm pineapple, so putting it on pizza that's why it doesn't jive for me. It's funny you say that because like I I like carrots normally, but I don't like cooked carrots for some reason. Oh, know? interesting. Yeah, I don't like yeah, the I guess texture. Or taste i feel like when you cook them you lose so much flavor i don't know yeah i, I can see that yeah but i mean aside from that unless you have anything else you would like to to share with us via speedrunning or getting into speedrunning or or anything about your history with speedrunning i think i think we can wrap that up yeah i just want to say thanks for having me on i think this is a really cool idea no problem just, uh, interviewing people in the community and kind of giving you know kind of crossing audiences Oh, of um, into course. other games and communities and stuff so zelda one has a discord there's literally races every day of, yeah can you go probably, ahead and, can you go ahead and put yeah. your put your stream and your youtube and your discord in chat right now so people can people can have an easy access go ahead and put all three definitely I will. definitely put all three in there so I people will. can go and give you a follow are you going to continue doing some attempts or are you are you uh continuing your goal list right now so Zelda one is just kind of a, is separate from the goal list. Okay. So like I am, I have the goal list. I'm going to be working on that. Um, and then I will continue to do Zelda one attempts, um, probably at least once a week. Um, I'm still in the tournament. Um, they're in the bracket stage now. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, Zelda one is not over. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely yeah. go ahead and, and put those in there, and then um, I'll probably I'll probably talk to you um, if you're busy tonight. I'll probably message you on Discord tomorrow, and then yeah, we can just uh, go from there. This was a lot of fun, man. This is I learned so much about this game that I didn't know. Now, whenever I tune in, uh, I don't have to try and throw my questions in in the middle of your run, and like you know, because a lot of people they they have two choices. Are they do, do you? Do they feel like they're going to distract them by asking questions? Some people are embarrassed too, right? Because sometimes there are harsh people in communities. I'm not saying directly through, you know, Zelda communities and stuff like that. But people get upset when they get asked the same question all the time, you know? I don't, I don't know if you've seen <laughs> I, it before. I don't know if oh you... Oh, man. When you, when you have some, just, sometimes people have dedicated viewers who actually get mad. And it's like, all right, settle down, chat. You know, they're new. All right? Yeah. Benefit of the <laughs> doubt. Come on, guys. Go we, easy we, on them. <laughs> We try to be helpful, but sometimes, like, if I'm annoyed and someone comes in and, like, asks the wrong question, yeah. I usually just, like, let them have it. But, you <laughs> That's know, so it's, true. I feel you. I yeah, feel you. It really is. Is there any way to skip the hands? It's like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't think it. You should be like, oh, I didn't think of that. You could just yeah. go around or hold. You know, you got to hold B while you do it or something. <laughs> can you, can you put the hands to sleep with the music box? Never tried it. Could Let me go try that right now. <laughs> yeah <laughs> hundreds of attempts thousands of attempts you know right it's like, yeah we thought of that but thank you for asking it's yeah. questions like that that actually find new glitches so it's true you know, it's true i mean too. mario well, 3's annoying. got so much new tech just in this year it's been insane a yeah. bunch of new stuff it's been crazy but uh yeah thanks for coming on man i really really appreciate that i had so much fun man yeah my pleasure thank you very much yeah no problem you take it easy man all right you too have a good right. day Right on, guys. New tech on hands. Yeah, no problem, Lack. That was so much fun. Man, I learned so much stuff. See, I love doing these interviews. Just like... Ugh.